Centuries-old vampire Christiana Aramis and her contingent from Cold Crypt Cellars travels to the Midwest for an international wine and wine cellars convention. The whole of the preternatural world is in attendance and spirits as well as tempers are flaring high. Old grudges come to surface and new loves are kindled. Things seem to be going well until a mysterious circumstance puts Christiana and all her people under suspicions, with not only local law enforcement but the vampire council as well. In the end, the only question left to ask is, how strong is your love? So this book is somewhere between urban fantasy, romantic urban fantasy, and mystery. My genre identification is getting impressively worse. I don't know how that's possible probably because I'm reading all of these things that don't actually fit into genres. Anyways, it's a very um, interesting collection of different genres that I think fit together very well. Basically, Christiana Aramis is uh, traveling to the Midwest to uh, attend a wine cellars convention because she owns a vineyard out in California. And so her people are there and um, so is her greatest rival across the pond. And so she then meets up uh, with her food for the week, uh, a werewolf shifter type who they both kind of like mutually fall like way deep into lust or love or whatever and um, problems ensue therefrom. It's very entertaining. The, the premise of the story is fascinating and I enjoyed it quite a lot. There's um, enough intrigue to make you want to keep reading and I will admit I didn't understand about half of the uh, kink references that were made but that's probably because it's not really my my most commonly read thing I don't I don't really read that all that often I'm not unfamiliar with it completely just unfamiliar with it yeah, it made more sense in my head. But that little bit aside, there is enough going on that I think even people who aren't familiar with it will enjoy the story. It's fascinating. So yeah, it was, I think the best way to describe this was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I think the intrigue was entertaining. I think the premise was entertaining. I think the interactions between the characters was entertaining. My main critique, though, is that most of the story takes place as a first-person narrative description from Christiana's perspective, as opposed to character interactions and dialogue. Um, there is definitely character interactions and dialogue in there, but a lot of what's going on is filtered through the narration done by Christiana, and that works because it's first person, so you get that very intimate, um, flawed perspective on things that make the characterization and the story move very well. But I would have liked to have seen a little bit more interaction instead of just being told from Christiana's perspective what was going on. However, I still think this was a fun story. I liked it. Yeah. I mean, it's, the stakes aren't hugely high. Um, yes, death may be involved, and yes, there are certain circumstances where things go very badly, but the stakes aren't hugely high, the characters are appropriately snarky, it's entertaining, and the world building is clever, I think. So apart from the narrative description being the primary means of storytelling, it feels almost like the story is being told around a fire or something. Um, I think that the story, I think it does really well. And that's pretty much all I've got for you today. I can tell you that it is snowing in April, and um, this is a good book to dispel that really awful spring isn't here yet even though the weather promised that it would be sort of thing. If you're looking for a fairly quick read, uh, something a little entertaining, a little bit genre mashing, because, or it could be a fairly standard genre and I'm just unaware of it, unknown, uh, then as usual, all of the links are in the description box below. You can find the link to the book there. And um, 
yeah, you can find my links there as well if you're interested in chatting. I'm around on all of the internet places and that's pretty much all I've got for you today. I will see you next time. Bye. Yes, who got up? Oh, yes, yeah, she's super cute. <laughs> the indignity. Oh, the indignity. Oh, it's so tough. <laughs>